welcome back Rockstars to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel and on Wednesday we go half off to Salvation Army. This is my favorite store. You guys saw it last week. I am back again this week and we've already picked up a few good items. Uh, I'm kind of in a hurry today though. I have a few things to do tonight. So not going to be a long trip here. I'm going to get to two stores so you'll get to see the other one as well. But let me show you the couple items I've picked up from this one so far. All right, first is this fantastic U.S. Air Force necktie. Now, the ties here are $6, so today it's 3 and I would never spend $3 on a tie. Typically, my cutoff is $1, 50 cents is better, 10 cents at the bins, but this is a phenomenal tie, and I don't see a reason why I can't sell this for 15 or 20 bucks. So I'm going to take a shot at it at 3 a pretty cool Tabasco t uh, polo which I do really well on and this one's full of gators only one comp sold but it sold for 22 and this polo is uh, four with half off so it's two bucks <clears throat> so this shirt is a brand I'm not familiar with it's called Shepler's Western store the world's largest Western store but I looked it up this is 250 these pearl button snap pearl buttons here are valuable and this shirt in this size, this color, was selling for 20 to 25 all day long. So, 250 can't leave that. Um, this was just an interesting shirt that said Vegas on it, and it had some cool graphics. So, taking that, and then the last one that I picked up was a Cuba Vera shirt, Hawaiian Cuba Vera for 250. That was quick and easy. Four shirts and a tie. $12.45 was the total. Uh, the four shirts were the Tabasco Polo, the Cuba Vera shirt, the Las Vegas shirt, and the Western shirt. So four shirts plus the tie, $12.40. Um, that gives us, you know, five total items, what, around like $2.50 an item. So not a bad average. Um, and hopefully that tie, I think I can get 16 18 bucks out of that tie it's very unique it's silk it's in great condition it's bright it's uh you know you won't see probably very many of those under solds and comps i didn't even look it up um and then the shirts you know the cuba veras 15 easy maybe 20 the vegas shirt 15 the tabasco shirt 15 the western shirt 20 so 45 60, 70 bucks in shirts 15 in a tie at least 85 90 dollars i spent 12 dollars let's get rolling i got to get back uh i got a couple hours two hours to finish driving get back after the second store so i'm gonna hit the second salvation army right now all right inside the second store which is not as big but it's relatively big that's all the women's section and this is men's and i was just flipping through and this is the first one that i just found it's a men's patagonia xl five bucks so we're gonna pay 250 for patagonia all day when I first walked in, where the neckties are, I found this pink flamingo tie, and it is Brooks Brothers. So, <clears throat> these are six, and half will be three. Now see, this isn't a known brand, but it's bright, it's colorful, it's Hawaiian, but they're asking seven, which would be 350. I'm gonna leave it, because it's just too much for not a known brand. If it was like Columbia or you know, any of those brands that I buy a lot of, then maybe Cuba Vera, but not an unknown, unknown brand. This is one of the reasons you have to be really careful with these dry fits and these mesh. This is a $5 Climalite. Really good, but when you flip it over, check it out. Look at the back. See the back bottom right there? You guys see that? Immediately, you guys can probably see it. The camera's not zooming. There it is would have ruined the value of it, so got to leave that one here. All right, back, and uh, that last store was pretty cool. You guys didn't see this on the video. I got this at the counter. Someone decided not to buy them. Check them out. Angel Wing Miss Me Jeans. Now, I did pay up for these, but it's because I have experience with these jeans. They're size 27. They're 100% real. Some of the things to look for, other than just the quality of the stitching and the embellishments and all that, um, on the jeans, they should say, and I'll show you this tag, it says designed in USA, made in China, signature boot 27. So you should definitely be able to see those three identifiers right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then over here on the buttons, on the inside of these little rivets, they should have an M for Miss Me. 
It's kind of really hard to see, but these inside rivets all have M's. A lot of the fake ones will be plain, um, not good quality. Uh, the stitching, you'll be able to tell, like these stitchings are really tight, they're really quality. The embellishments, the jewels, the, you know, the buttons, everything is really heavy, high quality. These jeans weigh like two and a half, three pounds, um, and they're not a real big size. Just everything about these jeans is right. You can tell on the Miss Me on the back of the pocket there. It's also got it. The It's clear, it's concise. It's just, you can kind of get used to looking at these and knowing. Um, so these are 100% real. I paid $15 for these. Um, they were marked $29.99, half off $15, but they had, somebody put a tag on them for eight bucks. So they were four, and the person brought them up to the counter to pay four, and then they told them, no way, it's 15, which is kind of shady. I'm a little annoyed at Salvation Army for that. It turns out that I got to get them because of that, um, and I know that paying 15 is good because most Miss Me jeans will sell for about $30. These with the angel wings, good embellishment, good size, these are $50 jeans. I'm gonna put these up for $49.99 and sell them. So, um, good one there. And then of course, this pink flamingo Brooks Brothers tie. I did a second tie, like I said, of $3. I don't ever buy ties for $3, and I bought two of them today, three bucks each. Both a minimum 15, I'm gonna try for 20 a piece on these ties. Look up these pink flamingo uh, Brooks Brothers ties. Just look up Brooks Brother flamingo tie. 39, 29, 34, 22, 21, all $20 and above. So I think I can get that same 20 or more. And this one I just thought was unique. So if I get 15 for it, great. If I end up selling it for 10 and breaking even, so be it. But uh, I was given a good shot there. Um, the second shirt that I got from that store uh, was the Patagonia button down three or two dollars and fifty cents? Great size, extra large Patagonia button down, popular look for those. And then, of course, you guys saw this in the store: the Cuba Vera Hawaiian shirt, the Vegas um, button down that's silk and pretty cool looking with some cool graphics. Um, the Western shirt, which is Shepler's S H E or Sheepler's S H E P L E R S. I'm sure I said it wrong one way or the other. And then the Tabasco Alligator Polo, which we always sell Tabasco Polos pretty well. So not a bad day. Um, so I spent, what, 15, 18, 20, about $21 at the second store and 12 something, 12 45 at the first. So about $33, $34 for a couple hundred dollars. So two solid trips, Goodwill Retail one day, Salvation Army the other day. Just keep adding these $20 items on and hopefully our store, you know, gets to where I only got to sell 10 items a day to sell 200 or 20 items a day to sell 400. So that's the plan. That's the haul. Appreciate you watching. I'll get out and do more Wednesday Salvation Armies and we're going to do another Goodwill Outlet haul soon. I got to get back to the outlet and uh, haven't been there in a while, so I can't wait. Um, in the meantime, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you to everyone who got me over 50,000. Let's get to 100,000 so I can get a fancy play button because that is hashtag goals, right? Goals? Anyways, thanks so much. I'll see you guys next time.